touching the truth. Hello, kings and queens. My name is I King Skies, and today we are going to talk about WWE. Now, the thing about WWE is. Well, if you read the title, it's about retribution. A day from SummerSlam, and I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty excited. We've got Bray, Bray versus Braun, Randy Orton versus Drew, Asuka versus both Bailey and Sasha. But I wanted to talk about something I've been keeping my eye on, and that is the new group called Retribution. And they're actually making some noise. I mean, it did start off horrible with like, them breaking windows and why would you break windows because that's not affecting the company it's just this is a million dollar company you're talking about they're not going to have a hard time replacing that window but made their way into interrupting and attacking superstars and the booking isn't horrible sure it can use a little few kinks there and there but it's there and they can definitely make something of this but no one WWE ever ruined it but it doesn't hurt to have some confidence in WWE. So I wanted to talk about the possible leaders who are leading the retribution in the first place. And what kind of storylines can we get from them being involved, being revealed as the new leader? So without further ado, let's get into it. And at number five, we have CM Punk. And I put him on number five because of obvious reason. The chance of this happening is very, very low, but what if, what if CM Punk just comes back as the Retribution leader and declares war against WWE because of what happened with them between the year of, was it 2013 and 2014? I think so. Um, and on social media, CM Punk has joked about it on Twitter and things like that. He's had interactions of it. So I'm pretty sure it's not him. It would be a uh, banger but you know, you know what could be more of a banger if cm punk just comes back by himself because him having a group wouldn't just wouldn't fit cm punk's character and i don't think he would even allow WWE to do that this is not cm punk so at number five we have cm punk but if it does happen though oh oh it's gonna be that's gonna be lit anyway at number four moving into the serious considerations and the more realistic options we have dominic dikovic the only reason he is <laughs> he is uh number four only reason he is on this list are is because of his social media wwe hasn't really gave us hints of who it could be but he's been he's been um adding vince mcmahon in a series of tweets and then has deleted it after it like three hours later maybe this is just him trying to throw a serve a serve a swerve or maybe WWE, at somebody at wwe told him to take it down because you're spoiling <laughs> what we're trying to do in the future but who knows now we mo go on to number three now we have Sami Zayn. now this would be interesting Sami Zayn has been away from wwe quite some time now and it would be crazy to see if he came back with a squad like retribution behind him Sami Zayn could follow a simple storyline saying he was the forgotten superstar and deserves way more than he gets and saying he'll destroy wwe once and for all and make his own company i don't know something like that that just came right off the dome I have no idea, but that would be, I personally like Sami Zayn, I think he's very underrated, and he should be a WWE champion by now, but that would be crazy if he finally gets this WWE belt like that, the leader of Retribution. At number two, we have people that were recently released by WWE, aka Rusev, Gallows and Anderson, Slater, and Kurt Hawkins. Now, if this happens, it would be amazing, but at the same time, it just brings me like, it just confuses me because they were recent release, recently released from WWE. Why would they be brought back? Or is it a, a publicity stunt? Was that a part of the storyline? I don't know, but 
It just doesn't make sense to me if they were released and they WWE brings them back into the company just to pull off this storyline. But if this does happen, it would be an absolute banger because not only do you have people that are underrated, Gallows and Anderson, Slater, Kurt Hawkins, Rusev, but you have people, you have a storyline that would absolutely make sense for them to be a part of the group and try to take over the company because they fired them and left them in the high and dry. Now we have number one and who I personally think, <clears throat> who personally think the leader is The Miz. Now I say The Miz because they have been throwing subtle hints at The Miz might be the leader of Retribution. Uh, just yesterday, The Fiend and Braun Strowman got attacked by Retribution. The Fiend obviously disappeared, but after that, the main roster comes out to defend Braun Strowman. And The Miz, after Retribution, goes back and was like, no, 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 we can't take them, bro. We can't take them. Here come this nigga, The Miz, out of nowhere and rolling into the ring. And WWE cuts the camera on him. I have a whole nother video on it at my channel, but the video, it cuts the camera on him. And it's just weird because WWE... If that was a botch, WWE wouldn't have had moved the camera to him and let us see him go into the ring. It's just a little weird for WWE taking. And this is the reason why I think he has something to do with Retribution. It's not only that, it's been a few um, other weeks where he's said something about Retribution. He's been named, talking about it this whole week and saying they're not going to attack him. They can't attack me. They can't attack John Morrison. Maybe that. Maybe John Morrison is working with him. Who knows? Or maybe John Morrison will finally get the singles pushed like this and go against The Miz. That would be cool. Anyway, those are the five people who could possibly be in uh, the leader of Retribution. Well, notice how we're talking about leaders, not the actual people who are in Retribution. That could be people who can be in uh, Retribution is easily... Um, Vanessa Bourne because one of them looked like her uh one of the people on NXT and then Chelsea Chelsea Green yeah those that's I think that's all I know but um I think that's all that has been confirmed or looked at as a possible people who are in the retribution but we are looking at the leaders of retribution who do you think is the leader of retribution my name is I King Skies like comment and subscribe share this with your friends and ask them who do you think is going to be the leader of Retribution. My name is I King Skies, and thanks for watching. But what do you do when there's no place to turn? I have